Okay, now then, you've got your MAR, and we want to look at this MAR. The MAR has the patient's name, visit number, date of birth, his admission date, and what hospital he's in. It tells you his diagnosis and his allergies. He's got allergies to aspirin, penicillin, and triple antibiotic cream, and he was admitted yesterday. And these are your meds, and these are the times. I've highlighted the ones in yellow because there are a problem with these. This one, Submetadine, says one cap PO three times daily. It doesn't give you a dosage. We cannot give pills unless we have a dosage, unless it would be like a multivitamin that does not come with a dosage amount. So this would have to be held. You would have to call the doctor and say, you know, I, I don't know how much to give him. How much do you want me to give three times a day? This one says triple antibiotic cream applied to the lesion on the left thumb three times daily. Well, right up here it says he's allergic to triple antibiotic cream. Now, triple antibiotic cream has three different drugs in it. And when you're giving meds, there are lots of drugs that are combination drugs. So you need to know what the combination is because they could be allergic to one part of that drug and the other part would be fine. So be sure you know what are all the combination drugs in there. And the last one was amoxicillin, 500 milligrams every 12 hours. He's also allergic to penicillin. So those three drugs you would have to call and say, these I can't give, what would you like for me to do? And the doctor will tell you. Okay, so we need to give drugs in the time that they're supposed to be given. And we have digoxin at nine. We're not gonna give the cimetidine. We got a floxin eye drops at nine. Pot Robitussin at nine. A Torvastin is at 1800, we're not gonna give it and nifedipine at nine. So we're gonna get those out. And the first one is digoxin. So we're gonna find digoxin. We're gonna get it out and this, this will be our first check. I've got digoxin or linoxin, 0 0.25 milligrams. And his order is digoxin 0 0.25 milligrams. Lay it there. Uh, oxifloxacin, which you have to be careful when it says oxifloxacin optic, meaning eye, and not otic, meaning ear. So we've got it. It's not expired. Uh, Robitussin, 60 milligrams in 5 mils. This would be our Robitussin. At the hospital, it's going to come in a single unit dose. It may have 10 mils in it instead of 5. So you need to make sure you know that there's 60 mils, 60 milligrams in 5 mils. And we would, and it's brand new. It doesn't expire for a while. And this is our measuring cup that we would take with it. Um, and then the fetapine, 60 milligrams. And it's the fetapine, 60 milligrams, and it's not expired. So now we are going, that's our first check. Our second check will be at the computer at the hallway before we go in. Our second check will be out in the hallway before we go into the patient's room and we're going to look and see we've got digoxin 0 0.25 milligrams at 9 and we know that he needs an apical pulse for a full minute and we have done that already before we go in his pulse is 67 so it's safe to give. It's not expired. Our next one, we're not going to give the cimetidine. Our oxifloxacin is 0.3% and we're going to uh, put it in the right eye. I've got it. 
Robitussin, 60 milligrams in five mils. And we won't pour that until we get to the bedside. And then our last one is Nifedipine, 60 milligrams. And we've got Nifedipine, 60 milligrams. So that is our second check. Now we are going to go to the room. We're going to knock on the door. We're going to phone in. And we're going to say, I'm Vicki. I'm your nurse for today, and I've got some pills for you. Can you, can you tell me your name? And if he can tell you his name and his date of birth, then also you want to be sure you're looking at your medication administration record that you know he's giving you the right information. Or you can check his bracelet. And it's Mr. Sim Man, and we've got his visit number. And he's a young man. He's only, And then he's at the Autry Hospital. And then his allergies, he's allergic to aspirin, um, he's penicillins, and triple antibiotic cream. So, are you ready to take your meds? And he says, yes. And I said, have you had any trouble swallowing? And he said, oh no, I had breakfast this morning. Well, let me set you up a little. And I have an eye drop for your right eye. I have your digoxin. Have you taken that for a long time? And most of the time they'll say yes. It's for my heart. Nifedipine, that's for those arrhythmias that you've been having. And then your Robitussin for that dry, happy cough you've got. So are you ready, ready to take these? And while we're at the bedside, we've got to kind of decide in what order are we going to give these drugs? If I give the cough syrup first, he is not supposed to have anything to drink or eat for five minutes. So we don't want to do that. If we do the eye drops first, and he's blurry and he can't see what you're doing. So we would say, okay, uh, let's give your uh, other pills first, and then we'll do your Robitussin, and then we'll do your eye. As long as you're not touching meds or don't think you are going to touch the meds, you don't need to put gloves on. But as students, it's probably better to put on a pair of gloves because we're not supposed, supposed to handle pills without gloves. Okay, we've got the Joxin, and at the bedside, we would scan the barcode, and it would pop up on our screen with, that says it's safe to give. So we would scan that one. You would scan this one, and you all, oh, you also need to scan his bracelet, because it's not going to give you any information unless you scan his bracelet first. And then you would scan your meds and scan this one. And you would scan this one. Once all of those have popped up with a check mark, they're safe to give. Now, if you get a dialog box that says, this can't be given, it's too early, it's not on his medication list, be sure you hold those and check your doctor's orders, because there could have been new orders since we looked at them last. So be sure if there's any dialogue box, you read it.